Hello everyone and welcome. Welcome Benjamin, welcome Eman. And yeah, uh, I will not be playing the aisle today. I just want to relax with some Terra Tech. Because I, I'm having some fun lately with this game. So uh, let's get right into it. Alrighty then, let's see how we stand, um, as you can see I was pretty busy lately with the game, So yeah, uh, right now I'm situated exactly between the, the three biomes. Basically that one is the starter biome, that one is the second one, the swamps. It's a bit more dangerous than the first one. And the last one is basically the most extreme one and you really have to be prepared in order to go there. And what I also uh, did, I got a bit into the automation thingies because it really like saves you a lot of time. So you put here into the fragmenter, for example, I have this tree and then that tree goes to the silo. From the silo, it goes to the refinery, then it goes to another silo. And then it purifies whatever came out of the refinery and it goes all the way here to uh, this side of basically and from here it goes to the carbon generator so that you can have uh, power <laughs> why am I green Benjamin I can I can make this pretty easy like this so I click on colors and as you can see, you can uh, color your tech as you wish. I mean, the colors are limited. But then again, they look nice. I picked green... I don't know why. But yeah. <laughs> you can see your tech a bit uh, better as well. And here, this is the scrapper. You can put here uh, anything that you would like to uh, destroy, but it gives you materials back. So, for example, if you uh, get another tech, if you destroy him and put his parts here, and I automated it a bit as well. So whatever I put into this silo, if I turn on the scrapper, it will munch them down and it will go to this silo. So you can see I already have something. But what I want to do first is uh, automate this scrapper as well, just like I did with the other one. Yeah, but with the black Benjamin, I don't know if you can't really s I mean you can see your tech but this one it probably will be better uh, on the ice biome this is where I want to go today 
I want to go to that uh, ice biome but in order for that I have to prepare myself a bit I mean I know what I have to do I just have to prepare it because uh, you see there in the uh, bottom left corner you have a temperature uh, thingy and basically if you go to the ice biome your temperature drops and you get destroyed unless you have a pulse furnace and for that pulse furnace um, which is I believe here yeah this one um, for this you basically need fuel this is the fuel so long story short you can't just go to the ice biome where the most advanced uh, techs are and expect to survive because you won't last like probably not even uh, 30 seconds and your tech gets destroyed by the um, by the cold so i said i ha i want to automate some things right i know i have here somewhere three pieces and I know I need 12 linear conduits, okay. For linear conduits we need... Let me check. We need copper and refined carbon. Okay, for anything like this. I think we have here some refined carbon. We do. Let's take something like that and some copper as well. Okay. And uh, I counted earlier, I think we need a 12 of those uh, linear conduits. And then we need uh, 1, 2, 3, 4. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. The from the corner conduits. So let's get going then. I'll make twelve of this and eleven of this ones. Benjamin, I really thought uh, that I would die as well there. I didn't think uh, we would survive. I mean, I know we could uh, we could have just run ran from the Seras, but yeah, we we pushed it. But it's one of those uh, rare occasions in which somehow you actually succeed <laughs> so yeah I didn't have the uh, high hopes but it seems like we pulled through I'm just gonna maybe change back to this so I can see my tech and now let's automate this one This one is connected as well. Okay. Next, we need one of these. So basically, this allows the materials to pass from the whatever I put here. It grabs them one by one or stacks basically and just it, it will be easier because you can just imagine um, if you would do this manually it will take a bit of time I 
actually not from here. I think I... Hmm. Yeah, from the scrapper we need to actually make... So do we have another silo? Hmm... Doesn't look like it, okay. Also another silo and what do we need for that? Refined iron, aluminium, carbon and silicon. Okay. I have one of these silos for each resource basically. Was it like aluminium? I think this one. And then we need refined carbon. Refined iron. Maybe silicon, right? I think so. Let's turn this on. Okay. Let's put back all the materials here. Silo. And then place it like hmm, something like this. Doesn't look like okay, now it's good. We need to connect this to Pretty easy. Because I need it to flow from the scrapper to the silo. Wonderful. And now for the final thingy. Okay. When I found out about the automation things, I was really happy because otherwise you'd have to manually put everything uh, all the time. Whether you want some power for your base, you would have to put some carbon there and... Yeah. It really uh, saves you a lot of time. And I still haven't automated it, um, like, fully. It's just, it's some sort of automation. At least for the stuff that I really need. Okay, this is good. And then another one here.
perfect. And for the last touch. There we go. Now we have like four spaces. Because whatever is here, it will be uh, scrapped. And then the resources from it will go into each category here. And for us to be able to... Uh, in order for the scrapper to put like four to output four materials into the silo you have to connect the each pipe here each conduit but it seems like um, this did the job properly so that's good I think we can turn off the fragmenter because this consumes power and we don't need it at the moment. I wonder, can we s switch on both of the scrappers? Actually we can, perfect. So you can see each one of them grab whatever piece and they get... Uh, they'll be put here and from here the final product will arrive here. So imagine having to manually add from your inventory all the time a piece of whatever. It's so much easier now. You just put whatever you want to recycle, you put it here. And then the final outputs will be to the left and to the right, which is amazing. actually need something so I have 156 grenade ammo well I mean it should be enough in theory right I think so I'm gonna grab another grenade launcher this is very good by the way um, and maybe where should I This looks this looks decent. Now let's grab the pulse furnaces and I know we need to. As for the heater fuel, probably we should be good. What I want to do basically is uh, to do um, an Arctic run. So basically I want to go and get some enemies there and grab their parts. That that would be perfect. Alrighty then, let's clean our inventory a bit. So if I stay here in the middle, I can access both of them and there are uh, the opposite things like if here I have uh, copper, here I will have refined copper and at the bottom purified copper. I don't know, this was my logic um, for the base that I built. So far it's good and I haven't seen any lightning strikes around this place, which is also uh, great. Hey Lidor, welcome to the stream. 
How are you? Okay, let's put this here. And this one here. This one here. I think we should be good. Do we have anything else? Yeah, we do. I mean, it really seems like in this game, if you're not at least a bit organized, um, yeah, <laughs> it's it will not be a good day. Ah, I'm glad to hear that, Lidor. All right, so let's see. If I go here, the temperature should drop gradually, but you know what? Maybe I can grenade those those two things here. they have. There are also uh, rocket launchers apparently. Mm. I have to aim. Oh, I, got, I destroyed that one. That's perfect. That bigger one seems a bit more dangerous. I have to time it properly, but... Okay. I think... Can I get him from here? Seems like I can. Perfect. One more remaining. Okay, I think it's time that we should put our pulse furnaces. Let's see, where should we put this one? Maybe here? Okay. And one on the front, right? Somewhere like here. And now we just need to assign the shift for the pulse furnaces so now if I go into the uh, ice area and I press shift I got some heat bubbles and they consume this uh, heater fuel okay we are over our reactor capacity but it is what it is to be honest I'm not even even uh, sweating it. Let's grab here all the parts. Oh, I did the math to do that. And let's see what other enemies we can find around this place. These plants are so tricky to be honest. If you go near them, they will like implode or whatever and they just throw you everywhere. <laughs> Carefully navigate your way around. Oh, that's a large cargo. That's perfect. I still haven't uh, rebuilt my deck yet. Did I see some enemies here? Oh, yes. that one. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Destroyed that one as well. And now 
there's like one more. grenade shots I'm gonna repair my deck here and also there's like a nifty little trick you can plant down one of these uh, deck yards and just get uh, it basically gets you uh, your respawn thing is back Let's grab it back. Why doesn't this work? Okay, now it works. Perfect. Oh, this is a plant here. I didn't even notice it. mine our way perfect now we can just switch 
and with this one we can grab those pieces and put them here and this is a pretty rare resource the tungsten and also the titanium so yeah this is why you come here for basically and repeat basically find a good source of uh, wolframite and yeah you can get a lot of resources and I see some uh, some seams there as well nice since this one is not automated once it fills up so the capacity is like uh, 30 for each stack and once it fills it up it uh, refuses to <laughs> work so every time it reaches 30 you have to basically uh, put it back into your inventory and this one is like pretty rare titanium and the ratio to get it uh, refined is 3 to 1 so from 30 uh, raw titanium we can get like 10 refined titanium and then you can actually go into the to, you can actually purify them so the ratio is still 3 to 1 as well so maybe you can get like uh, 3 purified titanium which is It's hard to get, <laughs> but this is like end game. On this uh, biome, there are like three resources which you cannot get anywhere else. So that's titanium, tungsten, and uh, what was it? Um, I don't know. There was another one, I think. This one, strontium. And so far, I haven't been able to find the uh, strontium other than getting these plants those plants that shoot whatever got all right or wolf from my I think this is the last piece and there's some more wolf from my there but that's in a hot zone I think our deck will uh, overload Resources basically, it's, it's not an easy job. Actually, what if we come here? Oh, somebody's mad. Oh, wow. Well, that was interesting. Good 
think we have the I mean enough response otherwise we would have been pretty much dead is this one that we have uh, applies plus 4 turbo and amplified to all blocks so not only to 
the ones that are directly connected but i think we can make this work uh, we can make this work we should be able to over overcome i mean hopefully This is... <laughs> this is nice. Okay, so when it's... During the day... Um, you actually overheat in that place. But yeah, we're good now. I'm just gonna hunt down uh, enemy text and I think I already saw one there so I'm gonna finish is I don't know what we will need the tungsten and the titanium for yet I think I used the bit for some uh, building but not like a lot but we'll see we are gonna probably need it anyways so it's better to have uh, a little With this one we're gonna finish and start hunting for tax um, as much as our cargo lets us that's why i was thinking maybe i should build another tech with the large batteries and large cargo i mean that should definitely be an improvement but that's already mix mass uh, mean maxing basically Here and you go here. And what did I drop? Ah, some carbon. Okie dokie. So we're pretty much dead, I think. I'll drop this one as well. Oh, we're freezing. Oh, well, that's not good. <laughs> ah, okay. We're not freezing anymore. some leftovers here but I really uh, think I saw some text around oh there's one he took a, <laughs> a hit there let's help him out You are playing Dino on EO2, Benjamin? Oh my god. Yeah, that doesn't sound like a proper time. But then again, we can't really choose when our game crashes. It is what it is in the end. I need to run. 
let's send them some gifts. I guess that just happened. Respawn. So we're back at our base and yeah, we don't have anything. But the good thing is we can go back to, to our body. But we need some heater fuel for that it seems. No worries, we will get everything back. Let's see. How can we make some heater fuel? We need purified carbon and refined phosphorus. I think we have plenty purified carbon here. Yeah. Okay, and refined phosphorus. That should be here. Actually, maybe we don't need that much, we just need uh, to be able to get to our body. Maybe around 50 should suffice. I think I'm probably overdoing it, but yeah. Better to be safe than sorry, that's for sure. Benjamin um, maybe with a pack or at least two of them hello if I remember correctly when I played it on uh, legacy <coughs> he was uh, a very good bleeder so yeah Hello should be pretty interesting when he gets released. I uh, like playing him very much in uh, Legacy. I mean, you can't really forget that uh, roar and those sounds and just the way he is basically. He was a very good all-rounder. Hello Harry, welcome, welcome. Thank you for asking. I'm actually 
pretty pretty decent I made some uh, gains in Taratec as you can see which one was it? this one I have too many silos then again if I didn't have this many silos you can imagine the pain in uh, cramping everything in one or two or three silos or whatever. Yeah, that, that wouldn't have been a good day. actually go after our stuff that we lost so yeah, as you can see even if I have like what six or seven uh, L7 Auroras which are the laser based or energy based weapons and also grenade launchers I mean you can you can still die pretty easily maybe if I put one of this meteor on top or maybe coaxial cannon I don't know. I think I really need to rebuild my tech. But at some point, I don't want to rebuild it uh, during this stream because that that's gonna be all that I do. <laughs> because rebuilding takes quite a while for me. I have to think of the combinations here for example you can see how many buffs uh, we have for from everything so when you are rebuilding uh, your tech you really have to consider like everything So Harry, how are you doing? Did you have a nice Sunday? Did you relax? Okay, I think this one should go maybe here and then. And we're pretty much good to go. Let's get our stuff back. are set are binded to control and yeah perfect okay oh wow that one got <laughs> that one got destroyed good Just charge it. 
or not. I think we're good. There we go. Oh my god, really? Okay then, attempt number three, phosphorus and carbon. Benjamin, it's uh, thank you, but as you can see, not that easy, or maybe I still have to get the hang of it. The thing is, if they swarm you, there there's usually a pack of three in the dangerous areas, and when they swarm you like that, you don't necessarily know which one to go for. Also, you have to shoot in front of them, because otherwise the bullet uh, goes other places. Okay, and we find the aluminium and we find carbon. Some of this and we find the aluminium. We find carbon. This will be the lucky uh, time to do that. We find carbon. Perfect. You go here. Everything is organized. We have 25 uh, grenades. Should be plenty. I mean, plenty until we get to the body. Two more and we're good to go. Yeah, 40 grenades. Should be good. land your shots 
it's this here and I think our initial body was a bit further away right so we passed this one this is the place we got the those boulders yeah and now we should arrive at the place we died I don't remember where it was but we're gonna look around that's for sure because I had a lot of stuff Casually grab everything. What's this? A Zeus missile launcher. Oh my god. Yeah, I'll just drop this. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. This is this is pretty big. I think I'm gonna run with this to be honest. Let's see what can I drop here. This one and take the sharp exit, whatever it is. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna run, I'm not gonna bother with the rest. And this, yeah, I'm out. We got the missile launcher, that's amazing. Disappears. 
because if I go there I will overheat <laughs> instead of freezing. here everything that we don't need but before that let me check I usually like to have 10 pieces of everything I mean everything that uh, actually matters in my opinion so hmm. seems like we're good on this one we have 10 pieces don't have 10 pieces of this let's check the wheels now we have 10 pieces of this as well I mean we're doing pretty good <coughs> we can just uh, refine I mean uh, scrap everything else so let's see we're definitely gonna keep the large battery actually curious where is it is it here yeah oh I I don't have uh, maybe I can get rid of this one or better yet let's put it in a secure place and that is on our taker yeah I already had uh, two large batteries one large cargo perfect so you can go there you can go there as well yeah now we're set oh and you can go there as well in <laughs> the Zeus uh, missile launcher so let us refine or scrap this one and this one basically everything else speedy decks with this one it seems 
and I don't know why I remember I have another one like that. I'm gonna check. Well, it's not here, so... Weird. We got enough pulse furnaces. a bit of tungsten. That's cool. We got some titanium as well. And the last one, what was it? Strontium, right? Yeah. Okay. What else? This is gold. This is niobium. And we even got some phosphorus. From where? Probably from the enemies. <laughs> no more space for the silicon there. But I mean, if we don't have any more space, maybe we should refine it. That would be the most logical thing to do. here and when I get there more I will refine it. Now we got two coaxial cannons. Coaxial. Okay. We're at the point where we don't need the, the small bullets anymore, the light demo. So I'll just <laughs> let it float here. something but I don't know where it is hmm. actually let's see this one five aluminium five copper five silicon that's pretty easy to do five copper five aluminium and was it like 5 silicon? Probably. Mm. 
Yeah, I knew I was missing something, I just didn't know what. <laughs> the tractor beam, this one is pretty important. I mean, if you go farming. If not, then yeah. Also, why... Wait, what? Is everything done already? This is amazing. Beautiful. And then you can just grab everything and sort it out manually. But that's like the, the least of your worries. Only to sort out. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Do we actually need something else? So we have 270 grenade ammo. Seems decent. We have the heater fuel. I'm really curious about that. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely gonna check. So missile ammo you can create it with. Wow, this is pretty easy. But I think we had some, right? Oh my god. Yes, we did. Okie dokie. You know what this means, right? This means that I'm gonna test it out. Turbo and amplify. So, 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 let me think if I put it here. Turbo amplify and recycle. Yeah, this is more like it. This is way more like it. Okay. Basically, the recycle uh, buff means that you have a chance of not consuming that missile. Which is amazing. Okie dokie. Out of curiosity, if I put it here. Okay. Mm. Yeah, we're gonna keep it in our inventory for now. And then... we get to the ice zone and uh, use it there and probably the only thing left will be to map it to something the thing is though oh you know what i can just put it on my left uh, mouse button perfect perfect since i i will not use um this resource la lasers Perfectly good driving. gonna go for a short break everyone and I'll be back and then we can go and hunt for some more part and get even more resources see you in a bit
rightly then I think it's time actually perfect let me put this one here and let's test out the the rocket launcher so here goes nothing wow amazing This is OP And I can just control it That's the beautiful part I can uh, control it with my mouse Oh, 
Wonderful. I have no idea, Benjamin. I think you can put whatever skin you like. Like, for example, I, I think uh, you said something about all black. <laughs> there it is. Yes. 
slow at the moment. I think for for this uh, part specifically, I need uh, what wheel is that? Spiked. Yeah, this is the wheel that I need. This is for snow, basically. This should be like, what, a sniper, one heavy ammo. I think it's time to go back to the base, we have so many things. I love it. But before we go back to the base, I'm gonna check the other things as well. So, let's dispose of that plan. I haven't 
haven't seen this until now, so I don't know what that is. Oh, we're definitely gonna take the large battery. Okay. Um, quickly, quickly, what can we let it go? Maybe this, maybe... Maybe this... Let's go with let's go with this one. And now Wow this looks you can only imagine we will need to test it. <laughs> Maybe I should uh, let go of the grenade launchers and uh, this one on mm. decisions decisions okay I just noticed that I was missing something yeah this one <laughs> okay Oh my god. 
Wow, this is what we need. So it has a plus five amplify. Oh. Well. Interesting. So this is the mount that you can probably probably put this uh, mounted rifle, right? And then maybe I can put the Zeus missile as well. Okay, this suddenly became very <laughs> getting excited with these kinds of things. Because there are like so many options to start building something, you know. Okay, let's put the missiles here. Medium flatbed, okay. You can go here. Mm, what else? Here and now we have 10, the rest of them we can recycle, perfect. This, I mean everything here I think we can recycle. This is the things that we need, yeah, the spiked 3M wheel. And because of uh, the fact that it is spiked, then... We will definitely do better um, on the snow. Also, this is new. I, I didn't see this one until now. Medium armored offset. Yeah, this one should be amazing on the starter zone. <laughs> but there's like no reason to go there anymore. Okay, let's see. So, we got 10 of these bad boys. Actually, maybe we can do it like this. Medium, medium armor wheel. Okay. Large armor wheel. Cycle large armored wheel, we have 10, perfect. Medium armored wheel, this is here. Or should we like do it the other way around? No, I think this is better. just for mm. I mean probably it's good if you want to get out quickly but then again yeah I don't like I don't like to use it maybe we can replace it with something else Good. 
this one. So I have the frames here. Perfect. And also some shield projectors. Yeah, we're doing we're doing pretty good. Next. Put here everything that we consider of high importance basically and what else what else maybe the flatbed yeah I have two flatbeds now other than that I think we can actually recycle everything and we'll get like a lot of resources I'm I st I'm still waiting for um, to get like five large cargo we have four large batteries i think this should be okay in theory but maybe more would be needed so i'll just i'll just wait until i rebuild my deck but that one should be pretty amazing whatever i come up with it should be should be great so then we can just start recycling seems I think we'll we'll definitely get a lot of resources also this ones yeah these are not needed anymore but the ones that I have and I will replace them with these ones perfect Flat mm, shield projector This is important because I haven't seen it. Until now. This one can go, this one as well, this one as well. Oh my god, I, I like this so much the fact that I can just put whatever and they recycle it uh, by themselves. And you don't have to worry about nothing, you can just go mind your own business.
Well, Benjamin, um, considering the fact that there yeah, usually is three for more, but I might call it a night to be honest, shortly. Um, I have work tomorrow, so I still have to do some stuff. But I think it was. Uh, I mean, I had, I had a good time. It, this game is definitely way more relaxing, and it's nice to like uh, build stuff and plan your base and yeah, do all sorts of things. Maybe automate everything. And this base is far from perfect. But it does the it does the job.
rifle bore gun specifically created to take decks apart block by block. And the Zeus. Oh my god. Yeah, this is a nice one. I mean, I can buy and make my own without weight. curiosity before I end the stream I want to see how uh, <laughs> that the gun fires because I'm really curious and for that we need some heavy around here but oh actually it, it's not that uh, mm. what should we change maybe this one and yeah, so now it has Turbo, Amplify, Recycle and Superconductor. I mean it looks... the buffs really depend. So you see here, <coughs> the cap itself gives to other blocks plus 4 Turbo and plus 4 Amplify. And the part uh, beneath it in the car where the current mods are those are like the receiving buffs from the other from the frame and this one here below this is a weapon mount and it modifies basically it gives the weapons on top whatever it says there amplify plus one amplify recycle and superconductor so that means that this gun receive the receives the turbo and the amplify from this one because it says there a plus 4 turbo to all blocks so to all blocks it doesn't matter so then this gun receives whatever this one gives plus whatever this one gives so should be pretty interesting okay let's map it to what should we map it Maybe left mouse button. Yeah. Oh, we went too far. <laughs> we started. So if you go into the ice zone without those uh, heater bubbles, this is what happens. You immediately start to take damage and freeze. <laughs> okay. So here goes nothing. I'm gonna shoot. Oh really? That was it? You know what? I'm gonna pop these bubbles and try to get a plant at least. I'm curious of what damage it does. <laughs> because it was a bit underwhelming. Let's pick this plant. Yeah, this is this is underwhelming. <laughs> I mean, it didn't do, didn't do a lot. <laughs> and also, the range doesn't seem to be that big. Well, uh, hello. disappear and then go back to the base stash that gun and call it a night but until now that rocket launcher 
that's that's pretty awesome to be honest. That's the the best one so far. So yeah, this one, this use missile launcher, this is the the best one. Also, this one is pretty interesting, but for close range. If you want, Benjamin, I can show it to you as well. And uh, yeah, at close range, I prefer that one more. So let's grab some bullets. this plant it on top maybe link it to what Ooh. yeah left mouse button and then I mean this one seems better right for close range it's pretty powerful Basically, it demolishes anything at close range. <laughs> but the thing is, for close range, I have, I mean, these ones are amazing uh, for close range and for long range, the auroras. And they don't consume bullets, they're just like energy based. So these are amazing. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six six here yeah two rock uh, two grenade launchers these ones are pretty good at close range but i mean they're good at close range and long range the thing is they fire kind of slow even though i have plus seven turbo on them and you really have to uh, time your shots because the other decks are moving way faster so you have to you have to be a bit lucky as well but yeah the Zeus I mean this one this is this is where the money is <laughs> I mean you saw I was at such a long distance from everybody and you can control it with your mouse basically wherever your pointer is that's where uh, where it will land and it's pretty OP it seems like I still have some bullets left, I mean some missile ammo, but I can make more if needed. Also, looks like the scrapper. Let's turn it, turn them off. Wow. <laughs> this is wonderful. I just have to grab everything from here and put it in their proper places instead of clicking every time on the scrapper taking something from your inventory putting it here and then take the outputs put them back to the inventory that was such a pain until now to be honest so i'm pretty happy with this automation thingy yeah this is way better So then, thank you Benjamin for joining the stream and for still being here uh, and uh, chatting with me even though uh, I didn't play the usual game that I play and that is the IO, but I like this game as well. So yeah, today I picked uh, this one instead of the IO. And thank you to everyone else that was here as well. And I wish uh, all of you have a wonderful Sunday. 
be, be it Sunday morning or midday or Sunday evening and also have an awesome week ahead so see ya around and uh, probably Friday see ya on the next stream take care and bye bye